Casey would waltz with the strawberry blonde. Oh, there was Gal Lombardo and Tommy Dorsey, and and I love Kate Smith. She was really a great singer. And I like songs like um, There Be Bluebirds Over the White Coast of Dover. Of course, one of my favorites was Let Me Call You Sweetheart. Now, my, Mama had the music to that one, and I could play that a little bit. I think we used that one at, a, at our wedding. And then I'll Be Loving You Always, we had that one. And there was a, a trio of girls, the Andrews sisters. Now, in the gospel music, we had a lot of good, good gospel singing. There was the Jericho Road and uh, Jesus Hold My Hand and uh, Mansion Over the Hilltop. And of course, we didn't have a record player, so I didn't buy records. We got a radio in the late 30s, and my mother had a quartet of her own, you know. Uh, she was the pianist, and then a cousin, Anna Martha, was in it, and a friend, Corell, and then another friend, Rebecca Edwards, and then there was a teacher that lived across the street from us for years, uh, Miss Batten, Leota Batten. And so they even sang on the radio once. Uh, Brother T. Richard Reed, across the river in Arkansas, Corning, Arkansas, had a radio program, and he held some meetings for us in Finley. And uh, so he heard them sing, and he wanted them on his radio. I remember as we had our ears glued to that radio to listen to Mama's Quartet sing. Well, let's see, Jane, I think, was around five, and so that would have made me ten. And I found some of Mother's old uh, piano books. I found those books, and I learned how to read music a little. I took lessons for three months from a woman there close to the high school, and uh, I promised to sew for her if she would give me lessons. So I remember I made a pair of pajamas for one of her boys. So I never had any lessons but those four lessons, but I learned to uh, play just a little, you know, by the note. I always had, couldn't ever play by ear, but I always loved music. And I taught Jane, and she and I learned this uh, song, If I Could Hear My Mother Pray Again. So we sang it Mother's Day for our church, we sang it Mother's Day for the Baptist Church, and so, so we enjoyed it. And then we went on to sing together for several years until after I married and moved away. We didn't sing much. Now the other part, thing that has played such a big part in my, my life is books. In our home, I remember we had a big thick book called Egemeyer's Bible Storybook. And every summer I would read that thing through. But I devoured books. In our little Finley school where I lived, they had a bell tower. So that bell tower was maybe six foot square and they had three or four shelves of books in that bell tower. That was our library. I read everything in that library. Uh, I remember reading Ben-Hur, which is really an adult book, but I was reading that, it seemed like fifth, sixth grade. And then I had one neighbor that had one little uh, shelf of books, uh, one little stand of books. And she had Tom Sawyer, she had Little Women, some of those classics for children and she would loan them to me, and I would just devour them. I remember the first time I read Tom Sawyer. Grandpa had an old T-Model Ford. He was in the barn, at, uh, one side of the barn was his T-Model. And so I would hide out to read, because Mama, being the oldest, I always had chores, and I would hide out so I could read for a while. And I was uh, uh, laying there in that back seat of that old Ford, and I got to read that thing. I laughed so hard <laughs> till that old Ford just shook. I wrote a poem, and I've never been, uh, I don't even have a copy of it. And they published it in the Pentecostal Herald, which was our church denomination paper. But I was still in high, it was before I married, so probably high school. There was a grammar school teacher that taught us how to diagram, mm -hmm. and it made sense to me after that. And uh, the structure of a sentence just made sense. And uh, Miss Cecil Pritchett, so I give her credit for getting me started off well in English. Uh, the first book I wrote was a book on teaching. 
I wrote this book before I started writing curriculum. Uh, I, I wrote a book on uh, total teaching. It's since been revised and Sister Nation helped me and we added the other grades. Uh, and, and I do have a copy of that one called Total Teaching. So that was my first book. I remember brother, I turned it in to Brother Agnew and he offered me $100 for it. I told him, I said, oh, it's been a fun thing to do. I, I don't want any money for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working now on my 19th one. 